Studio 33 AD Catholic Media My brothers and my sisters in Christ when I read Jesus words from today's gospel the words to his disciples I immediately thought about us uh, thought about this community we build together every Sunday every day I thought about church because Jesus is addressing these words to each of us to the church to this community we build together you are the salt you are the salt of the earth but if salt loses its taste with what can it be seasoned recently I read in one article about the church such words most people for most people faith is no longer the foundation for living for daily actions and for making life decisions. For a large part of people, the Christian faith has become just a cultural or heritage and an incomprehensible tradition. And only a few are looking for a living source in this faith. The words of Jesus Christ may still move people, but often only like a fleeting feeling. And the church is no longer the mother that makes people able to live in the Holy Spirit. Perhaps the church has become for many a relic of the past and a scandal where only crimes are covered up. So can we say, then, that we are in the face of purification? So that this gospel we heard will appear again as a fire for this world that will renew our faith and ident identity as a Christians and idea of holiness. And these words from today's gospel, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? I believe, and I know it, that I am here to believe in the church of Jesus Christ. We can often hear such words, God, yes, church, no. But they are also often spoken by people who live as if God doesn't exist. And I think everyone can confirm that the world is becoming more and more secularized, moving away from God in a daily life. And a big part of this is people's indifference, shutting oneself up in one's own life, loneliness, as Archbishop Fulton Sheen said, lack of reflection about the faith in our families, and often lack of faith in priests and of course pervasive consumerism and of course the church as an institution is not flawless but if we talk about faith we must always 
think about this faith in a context of community. Faith without community was not imagined by the early Christians. Jesus himself said about it, I am the vine, you are the branches. We built a community. The church was understood as the body of Jesus Christ risen who fits with his body, his members, all his members. When Saul was going to Damascus, he heard a question from Jesus. Why do you persecute me? Jesus had in mind his disciples with whom he identified himself. From the beginning, those who wanted to belong to Christians were attracted to the image of this community with Tertullian described with these words. See how they love one another. And today people leave the church or despise it. Don't see in it a witness of faith. They see and they want to see only evil and hypocrisy. At the beginning of the 20th century, atheist Sigmund Freud said that Catholics looks look as if someone baptized them wrong. We can ask, has that changed? Today, you can be a Catholic who supports abortion, divorce, follows the cult of money or other ideologies. But we are here to say no. That's a wrong way. Because you are salt for the earth. This sentence of Jesus shows us the importance of the role of the church and the community we build. Today, a lot of people identify the church only with the church hierarchy. Still others identify the church with the building. Meanwhile, we are here to discover that church was born from the pierced side of Christ from which flowed blood and water, as St. Augustine said. In Revelation, we identify church as the new Jerusalem. So through these examples, we see that God doesn't need a temple because he himself is a temple. It is thanks to the holiness of God that we can say, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. John Paul II talk about the church which is holy because of its divine origin and at the birthplace of man to eternal life. This epithet holy originally meant separated. How to understand it? Holy means separated from sin. Holy means separated from perdition. Holy means separated from eternal death. God made man holy at the moment he created him. And St. Paul, in his letters to the apostles, addresses them as saints. You are saints, meaning you are called to a life of grace, a life separated from sin. A saint was someone in whom Christ lives daily. 
With time, this holiness began to be wrongly defined as something unreal, separate from everyday life, something that is hard to achieve for a normal person because each of us is a sinner. And looking at this church in this way, the world began to find hypocrisy, find pride in the church. The church who is teaches about holiness defines herself as holy and sins. So despite the temptations we still experience, maybe it is good to return to this thinking about our original holiness. And in this, we will help by feeding first the Word of God and after that the body of Jesus Christ. John Paul II said that this holiness for us, brothers and sisters, is a gift and, of course, a task. Members of the Church who aspire to eternal life. One of the first names of the church was the Greek word hodos, and hodos me means the way. It means that the life of those who are members of the church becomes a journey, a journey to the Holy God and separation from sin a departure from the evils of the world and spiritual stagnation. Thus the church is holy because it is called by Jesus Christ and because all of the goal is pursues. It pursues. So if you want to know the church in its entirety and to the end, Wait until you get to heaven, because that's where the most beautiful part of it. Talking about sinful and disappointing church is like judging a person only by his dirty hands and forgetting that he has a beautiful heart. The church is not only bad people and sinners themselves. The church is us, sinners who need a doctor, Jesus Christ. The church is we who, despite our weaknesses, want to glorify God in the Blessed Sacrament. The church is we who want to purify ourselves in the confessionals. The church is we who want to feed on the body and blood of Jesus Christ, witness about him in our daily lives. Let's return to this identity of the church as a loving mother who doesn't spurn her children but waits for their return. Also in our families, also in our relationships, in a daily life. One, what constitutes the church is not a sin, but our faith. This is what Jesus was always talking about when he healed people. Your faith has healed you from sin. The church fades not where it is persecuted, but where faith dies. When I say I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, these words we will say in a moment, these are the four fundamental terms of the church relating it to the Holy Trinity. We can say the church is one and holy just as God is the holy in the holy trinity is one and holy. The church is catholic 
because God's love is not limited to himself, but pours out to every person. Finally, the church is apostolic because every baptized person, by its very nature, is called to the mission of proclaiming the good news to the world as faith that is passed on grows and faith that is stopped dies. Professing the faith in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I identify with the church that lives in the saints in heaven, but also here on earth in this particular community. Love one another as I have loved you. As we heard in the first reading, share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And do not turn your back on your own. These are all things church members are expected to give to others as a community. I am here to say the church is something more than a place where we will be served whether at the altar or in the office. Because the church is alive. Because the church is love. Because the church is empathy its capacity for generosity. The church is forgiveness. The church is also a sense of belonging to a community because we are a salt of the earth. It doesn't take much salt to make a meal taste distinct. Perhaps there will come a time when the church will become a small, humble community the mean by the world, which will nevertheless be a messenger of God's promise and presence to all the world, to all humanity. Studio 33 AD, Catholic Media.